Sword tails are mystery fish. We all think we've seen them, but we've probably never seen them. And some of us are only alive because of sword tails. They save human lives. Now, if that doesn't get your attention, I'm not quite sure how I can get your attention. So to start with, sword tails are in the genus Ziphophorus or Ziphophorus or Hephophorus. I don't speak Latin, so I just attempt to say it in my own accent. We'll call them X for here on in. There are a number of species of sword tails. There are a lot of different reasons why we would want to keep them. But one thing that you'll notice when you look at this video is none of my sword tails are orange or orange and black or many of the colors that you see. You see, what you're looking at here are wild Kalmani swords. Um, they're not the hybrids that we get in pet stores, which are quite different creatures. Now, if you look here, you're going to see a Hellerai sword, which is the platform that they've built the common ones off of. You'll see one with black spots. He's just gone by a moment ago. That's a Hellerai with cancer. One of the really interesting things about sword tails is that they develop genetic cancers, melanomas, skin cancers. This was noticed back in the 1920s by Dr. Myron Gordon, who was a fish keeping doctor. He realized that if you hybridized sword tails with Pleiades or with other related species, since there are many different sword tails, their ability to fight off cancer seemed to drop. At this point, this has led to sword tails having one of the most studied genomes in existence. They're used extensively in the study of skin cancer and have added a lot to our knowledge of other cancers and treatments for them. There's actually a center in Texas that maintains nothing but different types of sword tails for use in cancer research. So they save human lives. I'm sure you were probably thinking that if you fall in a river, a giant school of sword tails would appear and drag you to the shore. Now, unfortunately, it's not that exciting. Now, when we look at sword tails, we have late bloomers. Um, a bunch of males will develop slender bodies, big swords, and show that they're definitely male early in the process. And a bunch of chunkier males will come along much later, live much longer, and confuse the heck out of us because we think our sword tails are constantly changing sex. They look like females for a very long time. If you're going to keep sword tails, expect to need space. These are fish that like to move. Uh, they're built like torpedoes, so you can see they're not made for stagnant water here. So if you decide to get into sword tails, there's a lot to learn, and I hope you really enjoy them. Thank you. Thank you.